Hey, what's up guys and gals? Jesse here from Long Lost Robots. I hope you're making some beautiful music out there. Today, I wanna go over Softube Console One Channel Strip called the Weiss Gambit Series. It's amazing, it's awesome. I need to talk about it and let's have some fun. Let's get in the DAW, let's check it out. Let's go ahead and go to the website. Let's see what they're going to say about it. Uh, I'm totally want to be honest in my videos. I've never touched hardware like this. This is pretty expensive hardware. And let's go over the console one, uh, the Weiss Gambit series right now for console one. So um, I've purchased this myself. I got it at a great deal at Christmas. I would recommend that you do the same. Um, so uh, let's go over it. Here it is. One of the most highly requested components for the console one. It makes its debut introducing the Weiss Gambit series for console one, a painstakingly extraction of the top features of the two most admired digital processors, the Weiss DS1 MK3 and the Weiss EQ1 Plus characteristics extras. Okay, the result is a clean, sharp channel strip engineers everywhere have been waiting for. So um, really quick, we have to understand that this is going to be a one-to-one. -one. It's a digital hardware, so it's digital inside. They got the knobs. Joining a storied slew of offerings of the successful partnership partnership of SoftTube and Weiss Engineering, Weiss Gambit Series gives you the algorithms of the originals, but it also sports, ex sports exclusive high-end features such as below-threshold compression, Weiss Gambit Series channel strip for console one created for mastering, now tailor-made for mixing. So these digital hardware um, that are just, they're pretty, I th they're pretty expensive from what I understand. Um, they're just top of the line. I used one of their other um, mastering channel, uh, not a channel strip, but plug in. Um, it is bad. At, it was just blew my mind away. I just used a, like one of the free uh, trials. So uh, just, it is one, look at this, a strict one-to-one -one code port combining the best of Weiss DS1 MK3 and the Weiss EQ1 into a singular channel strip. I'm not going to go over the videos guys, but um, here are some of the, like some pictures of some of the hardware guys. Um, let's look at, let's look at the, uh, the mastering and apex of mastering units since it's launched in the 1990s. So the Weiss DS1 MK3 is an indispensable tool in studios around the world. I believe it. I believe it because some of the, you know, I want to even try the, uh, the, the 30 days on these, these bad boys, cause they are amazing. Um, some of the fringe benefits for the console one soft tubes, exclusive partnership with Weiss engineering comes with some pretty sweet perks, including the gambit series in creating the gambit series. We had an opportunity to work in collaboration with Daniel Weiss himself. So that's really cool. Uh, together we created features for the channel strip that made it a powerful mixing tool that can be used for mastering features such as high and low pass filters, gate expanders below threshold compression, which is cool. Surgical equalizing. And I'm going to show you that in a second compression and a limiter so um really cool um guys let's get into it let me show you what we're doing let's get rid of this enough of that all right so uh in this series i'm going to be using the same acoustic that i recorded i just used this mxl 990 mic stuck it right in front of the acoustic guitar recorded it um you know did a few takes um it's kind of an ag aggressive riff which is cool because it kind of needs to be tamed and um you know we want it to sound it kind of you know definitely kind of just does this and and you can hear the clinking of the strings there's new strings on this guitar they're about a couple of days old and they haven't really kind of warmed up yet but let's see what we can do let's go into the weiss gambit series channel strip for console one um let's go ahead and use this guys let's go ahead and press play do that again. There we go. So there's the riff. Let's go ahead and get a little top view going. So the first things first, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get my input going. And bring it up just a little bit. Let's open that guitar up. This is an extremely clean channel strip. Listen to how clean that is. Listen to the guitar. I haven't even done anything yet. And I have examples of other channel strip here that we did for the last video. We'll compare the two for sure. So let's go ahead and bring down those highs a little bit. Let's do a shelf. And 
look at that waveform. If I want. Let's get a nice. I'm just gonna kinda just kind of listen to the sound. So it gets all boxy. So close my eyes, you know. get those strings down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? There we go, guys. Let's go ahead and get some of those lows out of there. Get that high gain. Let's see what happens if we can uh, kind of maybe increase that high gain a little bit. Very sensitive, isn't it? It's a little boxy. Let's get rid of that. But check this out. Let's get surgical if you want. Just cut those frequencies right out. Just widen that that bell. But that's not even a bell anymore. Awesome. Digging it. You brighten that back up. Look at that boxy kind of boxiness. Let's get rid of that. You can see how warm it is, but let's let's use some compression. And see if we can kind of tame some of those frequencies down with that. All right, so let's do uh, some uh, compression. Let's see what that does. We're gonna get this aggressive a little bit. Look at that, all the way up to 800 milliseconds. Let's, let's, let's hold on to it. We don't want to, we don't want it to kind of, let's get that up a little bit. Let's do a little saturation. Let's see the type, the DS1, type one, type two. That DS1's cool. Let's get that output out going. Let's get that ratio up and squash it. Let's hold on to it. And then check this out. If you want to bring it to life a little bit, do a little parallel compression. Look at that. How interesting that that high frequency kind of goes down the way that curve is. And then those low mids. That way it just kills that brightness. Then let's just go ahead and do an A and B comparison. So listen to that. Much better, much more like up front, not so in the back. Let's open up some of those higher frequencies a little bit. I've cut more than anything. And there's the, the, the dynamic, or the dynamic shape is more of a gate, but I don't really need a gate for this. But what I can do is check this out. Let's go ahead and just do shift shape. Let's do the Empirical Labs DSer. And let's get around 5.7 hertz. And you can see it just start working a little bit. And that way, it, when those frequencies come through, it'll just kind of cut those down a little bit. To 
let's see where that frequency is. It's not too much. Interesting. Very interesting, huh, guys? All right, so let's do a real quick A and B comparison, guys, before uh, I use the SSL 4000 uh, in the last video. And uh, let's just see what I did and leave it right there and check them out. Here's the SSL 4000. You see, it's a much, here's the Weiss, way more clear. They both sound great, just for how quickly I did it. Interesting. Listen to that phase effect. Let's see if we can change that phase. Interesting. Very interesting. But it's nice to have that phase invert in there, isn't it? Guys, this channel strip is awesome. Again, it's the Weiss Gambit series. I got it for like a hundred bucks. I mean, if you don't get it at the time, you know, during the specials, it's like around two fifty. Um, it comes with a price tag because it is worth it. It is modeled again one to one coding. So what you get in the physical digital. Um, hardware that they created, um, they bring it right to software and it's one to one coding. So I don't, I don't, it doesn't get any much better than that. Um, uh, so in the next video, check it out. Empirical Labs track pack. Guys, subscribe, like below. Thank you so much. Comment, make some beautiful music out there. Get those songs done. Take care, guys. Later.